Hello there, I'm Ryan, and welcome to my channel, Analyze This, Mr. Bond, where I take a look at the adventures of fictional super spy James Bond 007 and dig into what lies beneath the surface. Today, I'm taking a look at 2024. The new year is imminent, and that means we're no longer in the territory of 2023, which has been a relatively slow year for James Bond news on all fronts, though we did get some major events in some ways. I think 007 Road to a Million has uh, some ramifications for what 2024 will hold for us. But 2024 is generally where a lot of the hopes and dreams of the Bond fan community are pinned at this moment. We have a lot of things we're looking forward to. Bond 26, uh, the Project 007 video game, things like that, that all seem to be further out. They probably won't land in the year 2024, but we're eager for those morsels, uh, those crumbs, those tidbits that we might hear that might spark our imagination again. But I, for one, have enjoyed the space we've had to reflect on No Time to Die, to let the Daniel Craig era settle, to really recede into the past before we start to get these new things. And I, I think the Bond community is starting to explore some of the less appreciated um, corners of the James Bond phenomenon, such as the continuation novels or the comics um, that really deserve more attention and actually have a lot of a lot to offer. So I'm very appreciative of the efforts of, you know, creators like Calvin Dyson, who's been doing such a, a breathtakingly thorough job of, of examining, for example, the John Gardner continuation novels, um, to say nothing of his work exploring the video games, that really explore in depth these lesser known, lesser celebrated pieces of James Bond storytelling. I think they're very interesting. I, um, I have some predictions and resolutions about the new year, but generally to tip my hand a little bit about my resolutions, I'm hoping to dig into some of those less discussed aspects of the Bond phenomenon in the new year as well. So let's talk about predictions. So 2024 is ahead of us. I think we all have our suspicions about what 2024 might hold. I have three core predictions that I think, in my opinion, are fairly safe predictions, but I want to make them very concrete so they are uh, very specific. They are attached to a time frame so that they can be validated or true, as fa true or false. There's no like wishy-washy aspect to these claims. They're either going to be true or they're not, and I'm either going to be on the money or I'm going to have missed the boat. Uh, the first of these predictions is that by April 2024, the end of April 2024, we will know who the director of Bond 26 will be. Um, and that, I will further add, as part of this claim, it will be an official, official designation. It won't be rumors, it won't be the tabloid press reporting that a director is in talks. We will have a confirmed director for Bond 26 by the end of April 2024. I think this prediction is a little bit aggressive on the time scale, but I think it's safe to say that in the first half of this year, it is very likely we will have a director for Bond 26 named. I think, personally speaking, um, Amazon is very much going to be looking for Eon to get a move on. Um, the general lack of apparent success for the 007 Road to a Million show, um, which I'll talk about a little bit more in this video uh, in a second, I think that is going to really, you know, rev up the motor of EN Productions. And I think EN Productions is playing a little coy about the amount of work that they've been doing and the amount of thought they've put into the next Bond movie. I think they've been generally busy. I don't think they've been fully focused on it, but I think they have been uh, probably slowly at work, have some loose ideas about where to go. And I think in the new year, we'll be hitting the ground running on Bond 26. So 
that's that's my prediction. April 2024, we know who the director is. Um, I'm not going to make any predictions about who that director will be. I know there have been plenty of names bandied about. Um, Christopher Nolan, there doesn't seem to be any credibility to the, the rumors there right now at this juncture, but it, you know, who knows, we'll see. Um, but we'll at least know by April 2024. Okay. By June 2024, um, we will get a major news story discussing in re relationship to season two of 007 Road to a Million, how that series is being dramatically retooled and how that sh show, um, is kind of functioning behind the scenes at Amazon. Amazon has invested a lot of money in 007 Red to a Million. It's not a, uh, it's a very lavish reality TV show. Um, I have no intention of making a video on the series. I haven't watched all of it, but as with many Bond fans, it was a, a real miss for me. And not just because of the lack of Bondness about it. I just didn't think it worked very well as a reality TV show. Um, season two is already greenlit. It's already underway, uh, effectively from a casting perspective. I think shooting actually takes place in 2024. I expect a pretty dramatic retooling of the show and potentially a uh, budget scale back. So by June 2024, I predict that there will be some sort of news story, some sort of expose um, describing the behind the scenes pivot for 007 Road to a Million. And we'll see what comes out of that. Um, but I would expect season two to look fairly different from what we got with season one of that show. Um, and I expect there to be some interesting, interesting gossip about the behind the scenes discussions that lead to what the future of that show looks like. Um, and then finally, prediction number three, by September 2024, we will have a full name, a true name for the Project 007 video game, and we will have footage. Whether it's just sort of like um, a CG teaser that reflects the spirit of the game or actual gameplay footage, I'll leave that ambiguous, but we will have footage related to Project 007 by September 2024. Now, I think all three of these are, are relatively safe bets. I think it's safe that at some point, we're going to know the director for Bond 26 sometime in 2024. If not, uh, I, I will be astonished. Um, I fully expect, too, that 007 Road to a Million will get some pivots. What I'm actually making clear with that prediction is that there will be some fairly dramatic shifts in how the show is presented. Um, I would be very surprised if the show just kind of proceeds on the trajectory it's on right now. And I think a lot of fans who have seen the show would agree with me. Um, by September 2024, I think the idea that we will have seen footage for the Project 007 video game, I think that is a little more up in the air. Um, it's possible I'll miss the bucket on that, and it's really more of like a November... December thing, but I expect that game to release in late 2025, so to speak. So I would think we're going to start to see the ramp up for promotion at some point during this year. So all three of these are very safe. Uh, the only thing that makes that I'm staking my claim on is really the time frame for each of those. Um, and again, so that's you know, we'll have confirmed a director by the end of April. Um, we'll get a kind of news story expose about the behind the scenes discussions on 007 Road to a Million by, by uh, June. And by September, we'll get a proper, tra proper trailer and an official title for the Project 007 video game. Um, as far as New Year's resolutions go, well... First and foremost, this is very obvious. I am resolving to continue the, the, the momentum this channel has had already. I, it's seen such tremendous um, 
engagement already and for such a young channel i'm very proud of what i've done here i had no idea that anybody would be interested in my ramblings but i'm i'm very excited that folks are engaged by it i am going to finish out my sort of unified theory series covering each of the James Bond actors. The next video after this one will actually be the License to Kill video, wrapping up the Dalton era, and then I'll move on to Roger Moore, um, George Lazenby, and then wrap things up with Sean Connery. Um, but sprinkled in there, I'm also going to make a very firm effort to start discussing the James Bond comics. And I, I'm doing that even though I don't think it's actually going to be highly viewed content. I don't think people are that excited about the comics, but I think they need more attention. And I think a lot of folks look at the recent James Bond comics, they don't even know where to begin. The quality has been sometimes hit and miss. So, you know, if you pick the wrong story arc, you might be left one thinking that there's not a lot of goodness there, but some of the stories I think are really excellent and really set a great template for what a James Bond story can be in our current era. So uh, I will be doing videos on those. Um, we have an upcoming new arc for the James Bond comics that's going to be written by Garth Ennis. Um, it kicks off in January with the arc uh, Your Cold, Cold Heart is the name, um, but it's kind of a, a reboot of the comic book arc that has unfolded to date. I expect that to be really good. I, I have a lot of respect for Garth Ennis as a comic writer, so I think that's something worth paying attention to, and so stay tuned as that starts to unfold, because you might start to get uh, quick takes from yours truly along the way. And then my final resolution is to start sprinkling in some series about other spies. Um, I really want to do a video series on the show Danger Man, which I think a lot of folks haven't watched, but is uh, perhaps, in my opinion, the greatest you know TV series ever dedicated to a spy. Uh, terrific stuff. I want to do you know videos on Tenet, the Ipcrest File, and the Harry Palmer movies the Quiller Memorandum, things like that, um, where those kind of, these things that sit adjacent to the James Bond franchise, I think there's a lot of intriguing insight to be brought to what makes the Bond franchise different from these, these series, as well as to elucidate the broader spy story genre that evolved particularly in the Cold War era of the 20th century. How that has evolved over time, what it looked like, what these competitors of Bond, so to speak, have done with that same material. I think there's a lot of richness there, and I am really excited to talk about those things. So all of that, those are my predictions and resolutions for the new year. I hope it's a great new year for all of us. Um, I'm wishing you all the very best. Thank you for watching my channel to date. And I will catch you in the new year.